Shalom, beloved. A word. We're talking about the purge. Yeshua HaMashiach said he is the true vine. And we are the branches. And when we bring forth fruit, in order to become more fruitful, we have to be purged. Purged or pruned all things put away. A purging, it will get rid of things. It is cut off. It is things that no longer serve a good purpose. It may have served a purpose at one time, but in order to produce more fruit, it no longer serves the purpose it initially did. When you think of plants, that first stalk it may come up and it may shoot branches and it may have multiple blooms. But over time, that branch becomes old, dried and decayed. And it's drawing power off of the main branch, but it can't produce anything. So the plant has to be purged. It has to be pruned in order for the strength to go to the new blooms and the new shoots to produce more fruit. Many of us, beloved, are being purged. We go through spiritual purging, mental purging, and physical purges. Physically, when our body wants to remove toxins, you can purge, the body will purge itself through vomiting, diarrhea. You can go in through sweats. It'll come out in your pores. Yes, yes, a purge. And it does not always feel good when you're purging, being purged. The fight or flight that we go through in our lives, when those moments happen, and that adrenaline kicks in. Sometimes after the fight, nothing happens, but the adrenaline is still in that body. Adrenaline is like nitro in a car's gas tank. You can't start it up and it's, it's supercharged even after the race is over because you didn't use it. It's supercharged. So the body needs to purge it. But this particular kind of toxin in the body can't come out just any kind of way. When you have adrenaline in your system, you can't just pee it off. It'll come out in tears and those toxins will come out, but it's got to come out. When we are spiritually being purged, just like the body when it's removing adrenaline or some toxin, a toxin that initially might have been there to save us in a fight or flight situation or may have been part of the first blooms, but it is of no more use. We go through a purging, but we don't always understand because that same thing that helped us win now looks like it's making us lose. How is it that something so good is turning so bad? Think of a plant. This same branch that had such beautiful blooms is now dead and dry, and it needs to be severed from the main branch, which is you. But we don't always understand the purging that there are some behaviors, some ideologies, some people in our lives, some attitudes that served us once upon a time, but they do not serve anymore. And in order for you to move on up a little higher, the gardener has to come in and purge you. He has to prune you away. And we think there's something wrong with us. But you see, beloved, in order for you to go to that next level of growth, you are going through, we are going through the purge. And again, remember, be it spiritual, mental, or physical, we serve a tripart, Yahuwah, 
And we are a tripart people. So we go through it on a tripart level many times. What do I mean? If you look at Elijah, Elijah, he came out of nowhere. He's doing the work of Yahuwah. Miracles are abounding. He's working with the widow, with the oil and the wheat. He's raising through Yahuwah. Yahuwah is using him in a mighty work, Elijah. Forgive me, thought I was going to sneeze. <clears throat> he, uh, he raises the widow's son from the dead. He parts the Jordan River. He sees the power and the glory of Yahuwah. The priests of Baal. Mm. The fire in the water. The fire coming down from heaven. Elijah's there. He is part of it. But when Queen Jezebel sends word to Elijah that she wants his very life, Elijah becomes frightened and runs off. He wants to die. Mm. After all of this, he wants to die. And runs away into the wilderness. The old attitudes of his humanity have kicked in. He's afraid because he's a man. He's a human being like anybody else. He's overwhelmed. But he saw the Lord and all that the Lord did. But Elijah is about to go through a purging. Yes, yes, yes. The angels come, the ravens come and have to feed him twice because he's ran himself crazy, about to die out there. Mm -hmm. Then he runs off to Mount Sinai. And the Lord Elijah, what are you doing here? They're seeking my life, Lord. Elijah was going through a purging. He was so overwhelmed in his human mindset that he needed a purging. He, he needed a word from the Lord. Many would think, but look at all that the Lord was with him. The Lord was talking to him. We fall down below. Elijah, with all that was going on, asked to die. He wanted to die. And the Lord had to send him back. The Lord commissioned Elijah to do a certain work. But in the midst of the work that he was doing, Elijah had to go through a purging. He had to be reset, if you will, mm. like us. No, beloved, you're purging. You are not alone. And remember, it's, it's, it's ironic Elijah asking to die. Because when he got reset, mm, that's the same Elijah that the fiery horse-drawn cat chariot came down and took him up. Elijah didn't die. Mm. Moses, when he got overwhelmed looking at the people, mm, asked to die. After seeing all that Yahuwah had done and knew what he could do. Even Moses, in his exhaustion, in his mindset, asked to die. In the book of Numbers, chapter 11, mm. the purging, beloved, that we go through, you are not alone. And when you wonder, why am I going through all that I'm going through, I have done all you asked me to do, Lord. I'm trying, I'm trying, even if I made a mistake. You, beloved, are in the midst of a purging. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, you have been chosen, beloved, to do a mighty work. And many of us, our humanity, our, our human thoughts, 
our human eyes, our human frailty will kick in. And we not understanding that the Lord's thoughts are above our thoughts. We try to think this thing out. That's why we have to follow the commands and the word of the Lord. You know, even the word of the Lord, Yahuwah gave Yeshua a command. He was under the word of Yah, was under a command too, to be obedient and follow and follow. That's why he was called a faithful servant. Yes, yes, yes. And even when you don't understand, when your faith gets weak, trust in the Lord. Trust in him, beloved. That purging doesn't always feel good. Sometimes those old habits, those old thoughts kick back in. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You see, even Peter following Yeshua HaMashiach, Peter, who was given the keys to paradise, Peter, in that moment when they took Yeshua HaMashiach away and he was outside the courts, when he was asked, aren't you one of the ones that was with him, Peter denied him three times. Peter was in the midst of a purging, if you will. Yes, yes, yes. When Peter Loving Yeshua HaMashiach, not understanding the power of Yah when they were in the garden and they came for the master. It was Peter that pulled out his sword and cut off the servant of the high priest, it, Malchus, cut his ear off. Why? Because Peter's human side kicked in. He left that divine mentality. He didn't understand. Even then, he had to go through a purging. The way he thought about things, the way he responded to things. Some of us are responding to things or have recently with pure anger. And our tears have flowed all over our pillows because we think we've fallen away from the most high that he won't warn us that we failed. When Peter denied Yeshua three times and he heard the cock crow, he wept bitterly. Some of us are weeping bitter tears, but be encouraged, beloved, be encouraged. He will never leave you or forsake you. He chose you out of the world. You are not like the world. And if you are feeling hated, if you are feeling misunderstood, if people aren't treating you in a manner that you know they should, remember, in this world, we shall have tribulation. But be encouraged because he's overcome the world. And we shall be with him. But right now, you're in the midst of a purging. Some of the purge is spiritual, it's cleansing you. He said through my word, thou art clean. It's cleansing you of all attitudes, of all behaviors, of all thoughts. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, mentally. Many of us are fasting because we need the toxins that are in our bodies to be removed. There are toxins in our minds that that purging is removing. You see, Elijah had spiritual toxins when he ran away. Elijah was going through spiritual toxins when he ran away from Jezebel. And Yahuwah had to come in and remove it. Yes, beloved. And Elijah was going through it when he was in the midst of the purge. Elijah wanted to die. He ran so long, so far, so fast. The angel said, you got to eat, Elijah. You can't make this journey. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Some of us have run ourselves down to a nub. Mentally, you're wore down, beloved. But the Lord is sending provisions to you. You cannot make this journey by yourself. And the Lord is amidst you. Yes, beloved, yes. 
It's a purging, beloved. But when you come out on the other side, on the other side, mm, you shall know the glory of the Lord. You see, the end of the matter that we know, Elijah was taken up to glory in a fiery horse-drawn carriage, chariot. He didn't see death. And Moses, even though he died, on this side of joy, we know that Moses still lived with Yahuwah. How do we know? Because when Yeshua HaMashiach did his transformation, Moses was there when Yeshua HaMashiach transfigured that day. Beloved, it's a purge. But you shall come forth bringing much fruit. Be blessed and be encouraged. You are not alone and you have not failed. He will strengthen your unbeliefs and your doubts. Know for certainty his word never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot, not one tittle of his word shall be removed. Know this, beloved. Be comforted in this. Before we were, he is. Beloved. It is a word. What you and I are going through is a purge that we bring forth much fruit. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.